The session was scheduled for yesterday. Lawmakers are actually still working today. The Senate gaveled out last night around 2.30 a.m., but the Assembly will most likely be working into the later hours of today. And there's still one controversial bill left to be resolved. Capitol correspondent Amel Taliji has more. The Clean Slate Act would automatically seal criminal records three years after sentencing for misdemeanors and seven years for felonies. It would not apply to sex crimes. Advocates of the bill say this measure would help those with a criminal record who are often at a disadvantage when it comes to housing and employment opportunities. Many of these people are not able to you know, get their footing. Um, they've been uh, rehabilitated by the criminal justice system. They want to get back into society, but they have that burden of being in jail and prison and they can't get a job. But some lawmakers say if this bill passes, it provides no protection for victims or average law-abiding New Yorkers. In a statement, Senate Minority Leader Robert Ortz said this about Albany Democrats. They passed pro-criminal policies like Clean Slate while failing to seriously address their no-cash bail reform that has emboldened violent criminals. And they dramatically increased spending, leveraging our state's future. I asked advocate Marvin Mayfield whether or not places like schools would have knowledge of a new hire's criminal record. I, I, I understand that concern, and that is a tremendous concern, of course. Um, but there are mechanisms, mechanisms within this bill already that uh, uh, schools and any place uh, that needs a state licensure will uh, be able to do so. And Assemblywoman Mikhail Salaj says major companies like Verizon support this bill. They say that there's a workforce problem. They are not able to get enough people to go work into their business. The bill has passed in the Senate and will be taken up in the Assembly today. We'll have the latest as to whether or not it passes. Reporting at the Capitol, Amel Taleji. Well, the May jobs.